Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're gonna catch up on a video that a lot of you have been requesting. Um, and I thought about it and I'm like, I don't really know how this video is gonna help anybody, but maybe, I mean, several folks have asked, so we're gonna do it anyway. And that's storage. How do I store my collection? Where do I put all my platforms? And so your, your mileage is certainly gonna vary on this. You may have a huge place to store stuff. You may have not much space to store anything and you gotta be very selective. And so I guess I'll show you what I've got and how I store my stuff. And then uh, if that helps you or gives you some ideas, then that's awesome. Uh, and we'll go from there. So without further ado, let's go on a quick tour around the house and I will show you where I keep all of uh, all of my stuff. There's there's quite a bit. So let's let's jump right in. Okay, the first stop on today's tour is our formal dining room. Uh, when we bought this house, we had uh, two of our children still living at home with us. We bought our forever home when I retired from the military in 2016. Uh, we found this house, fell in love with it. My wife absolutely wanted it, so we got it. And so uh, it comes with a lot of storage cabinets. Now, most people would store, you know, dishes and, and uh, you know, things for the dining room. We're not like most people, if you haven't figured that out already. So uh, all these doors are automatic. All you got to do is clap your hands twice and they will open. So let me do that. There they are, they're all open. So a do not judge me. <laughs> My wife is very understanding and she allows me to get away with this. So let me uh, get the camera off the tripod and I'll give you a closer look at this stuff. Okay, so this is sort of like a, I don't know, it's a, it's a mess behind closed doors. So you never really get to see any of this. And I don't really get to see any of it either because I keep the doors closed most of the time, but you can kind of see some of my some of my collection there. I would love to tell you that they're all organized. Uh, they are not organized in any way, shape, or form. So it uh, sort of is what it is. Uh, I know where most of the things are, uh, and so I uh, kind of keep them kind of staggered in that way. And then, uh, yep, there's more in here. This entire buffet is kept full of uh, lights and pumpkins and all sorts of stuff. I mean, this is this is where we keep everything. I will close the doors here. Now, obviously I know a lot of people don't have uh, extensive cabinets like this. And, and if you do, you've got them chock full of actual normal stuff. And, and I totally get that. Um, we're just fortunate that we have um, like I said, all of our kids are now out of the house, it's just me and my wife. Um, and so we uh, were able to uh, dedicate a little bit of the house to our hobbies and uh, the things we enjoy. And this is, uh, this is one of mine for sure. Um, and so this is what we, this is what we've done. And so, uh, like I said, I'm, I have a very understanding wife who allows me to get away with all of this. Um, and we kind of keep Christmas and Halloween in some cases together. Um, and so that is really kind of everything. I don't have boxes for everything, unfortunately. I wish I did. Uh, when I first started collecting, I didn't have, I didn't have boxes for, for everything. Um, and so um, it sort of is what it is. But so now you know. That's where we keep. Uh, that's where we keep 99% of the boxes. What about the platforms? Let's take a look at that. Okay. Again, do not judge me. This is, uh, this is not the cleanest closet in our house. Uh, but the the great thing about it is it does hold quite a bit. It's a fairly decent sized walk-in closet. And the good part is when our children moved out. Um, and I need to reorganize this. Uh, so I, I've got to do that before uh, the end of the season. I am going to start decorating soon, uh, like this weekend soon. So I wanted to show you the video before I start pulling some of this stuff out so you can at least see it. But the good thing about when our children moved out, the we had a spare room and in the spare room has a pretty good walk-in closet. 
And so we just kind of rearrange some things to allow us to store, um, you know, our uh, the village display pieces. I, as you can see, I'm running out of room. So where would the circus piece go? I don't know. That's why I've got to um, create some more room. I've run out of room under the cabinets. As you can see, I'm storing stuff in here now. And so uh, there's got to be another solution. So I'm going to use this closet for primarily... Um, uh, the bigger pieces of display bases and things like that. And then inside our master closet, uh, there's some space and room above some shelves up there that I can start storing boxes in there if I need to. So uh, it's sort of an obsession. So uh, there you have it. You asked for it. You wanted to see it. So there it is. And then lastly, this is my wife's crafting room. I've sort of taken it over uh, but that's okay. You can see some of the stuff that we uh, that are that's still out on the the uh, table that I'm getting ready to work with. And the coolest part of this piece for or this room for me, let me pan over here, is this big, uh, huge um, wardrobe. I guess you would call it. We found this uh, when we were in Las Vegas uh, in the military. It's I was at a, a secondhand store. We we found it. We got it, and so you can kind of see that the uh, this is where I keep a lot of the stuff that I use to do the the crafting. And so it's it again needs to be organized. It needs to be fixed and and straightened. But this is where I keep a lot of my stuff, just sort of out of the way and kind of hidden behind these doors as well. So uh, that's uh, that's a look at that. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a better idea of how it is that we store all the stuff that I have. I'm always collecting. I'm always trying to find uh, a good deal here, a good deal there, or a better, you know, a, a different piece. And I'm trying to always add to my collection, which, I mean, you can see I, I've got, uh, you know, some, I'm fortunate enough to have a lot of storage space to be able to do that, but I'm running, I'm running out of it. So we still have, like I said, I got my master bedroom. Um, closet that I can store up above the shelves. I can always start putting stuff under the spare bed. Uh, there's still room. I try not to, to keep anything in the of Department 56 or Lee Max, especially anything that's that's kind of glued in in the heat or in the elements. We've got a, a storage shed outside. I will keep styrofoam and things like that that is unused, ready to be used. Uh, in places like that, but I try not to put anything out there. This gets so incredibly hot here during the summer months. It's routinely 115, 110, 118 degrees. And so you combine everything into a hot storage shed and you're just asking for, you know, parts and pieces to break down. You'll, you'll take boxes apart and pieces have just fallen off because the glue is actually melted. And so I try to keep everything uh, inside uh, for the most part. And uh, so, yeah, that's how we store all the things that we have for Department 56. Hopefully you found the video helpful and maybe enlightening. Uh, if that's the case, make sure you click the like button. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It's helping the channel to grow, which is very humbling, yet very, uh, very cool at the same time. I hope that uh, you guys are getting some benefit uh, out of watching some of these tutorials and and hopefully this is helping you make your village uh, even better. So with that, take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you again real soon.